Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to enable email verification inside the Laravel Jetstream. So if you install Laravel Jetstream by default, it does not ask you to verify your email. So how can we enable that? Well, first you need to make sure you have installed Jetstream. Uh, if you want, I have a separate video on how to install it. It's part of the playlist. I have the link in the description. Once you have installed Jetstream, there are two steps involved. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the first step is you need to go ahead and find your Fortify configs. So it's going to be inside config folder and then if you look for it there should be a file named fortify and then inside this fortify file obviously you can you know config things if you want but if you scroll down there is going to be a section called futures now you can use this to also enable or disable certain futures that comes with jetstream such as registration or reset password but in this case you need to enable email verification okay so i'm going to go ahead and uncomment it out and that should enable email verification so that's going to be step number one and then for step number two we need to open up your users user model and actually by default i think jetstream automatically adds this over here this import but it's commented out so you can uncomment it or import it again but basically you need to add implements this verify email here okay so on your uh, user class go ahead and say implements this interface, which is must verify email. Now, if you look at the interf interface, it has like has verified, mark is verified. These are basically what uh, Fortify uses to ensure the user is verified and also send the email. However, you don't actually need to implement these. So these are already implemented inside this authenticatable class. So if you go ahead and open it up, I think there is a app. So it's, you can see these traits, there is a must verify email trait. So these are already implemented. You don't need to worry about them. And again, uh, the send verification notification, this is where the email is actually being sent, which again, if you want to customize this, send your own custom email, uh, you can maybe, you know, override this. But anyways, let's go ahead and test it out, guys. So I'm going to come over here by just reloading. It's telling me your email address is unverified. Now, in order to make sure the emails are properly sent, you need to make sure you have set up your SMTP connection on your ENV file. I'm just using a test account I just made like for my videos. So I already have set this up on MailTrap. So let's go ahead and test it out, guys. If I click on a resend email verification, it should go ahead and send an email verification. Now you can queue your email so it's a bit faster, but that's it. It just tells me, hey, a new email verification link has been sent to your email. So let's go ahead and check it out. And boom, I just got a verify email address here a few seconds ago. And by default, it looks pretty nice. You can, of course, go ahead and publish the email templates and customize this if you guys like but if i click on this email it will go ahead and verify my account now before i show you guys that uh, if i go to the dashboard page i just want to as you can see since i'm still not verified it's showing me a page like this which is very nice so it's asking me to either edit my email log out or resend the email verification and this functionality is actually managed by a middleware so if i go to my uh, web.php and this is the default that dashboard route that comes with Jetstream, there is a middleware called Verified, and this is for email verified accounts. So as long as you have this middleware on your routes, the users have to be verified to view it. If I go ahead, for example, comment this out, and I go back to the dashboard page, now I can view it. So if you want to control what pages should be always visible and what pages require the user to be verified, uh, you can control this Verified middleware. And again, this is uh, defined inside kernel.http, sorry, kernel.php, and it's over here, verified, and this is the implementation. Ensure email is verified. So that's the middleware, and yeah, that's it. Now, you, you don't have access to this middleware, but you can, you know, uh, write your own if you like it. All right, so now let's go ahead and verify our account. I'm going to click on verify email address, and boom, now I'm able to actually uh, view the dashboard page, even though I have the verified uh, middleware enabled. And if I go back to my profile, Again, I'm verified. Now, it also you also have the ability to change your email. So if I go and, I don't know, change it to test2, it will allow me to change the email, but it will send a new email verification for my new email address, and then my account is going to be unverified, right? If I go to the dashboard page, again, I'm not able to see it, but if I should receive a new email for my updated email, okay? So let's go ahead and verify this as well. And that's it, guys. So Super easy and simple to do. Uh, you can again use this verified middleware to control when the users need to be verified to see an email. Now, what if you want to uh, update the email template? You can actually go ahead and publish the default 
and publish the email config. So in order to publish it, guys, open up your terminal and just say PHP artisan uh, vendor publish. And it will give you a nice menu. Scroll down until you find something regarding email and notification. So there is one for a lot of email. Go ahead and con config publish that. And then there should be another one for notification. I think the notification one we don't need to, but just let's do it for just to be safe. And now you should have a vendor over here with email and notifications. Now for notifications, it's just for, for email, okay? And I'm not sure if this one is used for this one we are using or not, let's check. So it says, if you're having trouble uh, clicking the verify email button, yep, so I, it seems to be using this one, right? So if you're having trouble clicking the action, so this is, you can customize this if you guys would like. Very nice, and then I think the individual email components are inside this mail folder okay so we can come over inside text there is a button you can customize the button uh, the footer all those stuff there is a panel and for the layout itself as you can see it's adding the header slot soft copy and footer now let's go inside the html so that was for the text version for html again we have the same stuff right now inside the header this is i think where the logo is so it's using this logo which is like the Laravel logo. So if you want to change this with your own, uh, you can go ahead and do it over here. So let's say, first of all, some, usually for me, I just remove this part. I don't want the Laravel stuff here. So we can do something like this. And then let's try again and see what happens. I'm gonna, I think I'm already verified. Let's send another email. Let's click save. It takes a while to send the email guys. And now if you look, we just said Laravel. So again, if we don't have a logo, if uh, the way the logic was is if the application name is Laravel, and I believe it's reading it from that .env file over here, right? It will go ahead and show the Laravel logo, which obviously I don't think you would want. So we just remove that. And then otherwise it would show the application name, right? So you could obviously go instead of this, you know, slot, go ahead and add your own, you know, logo here, your application logo, or just show the application name, right? So whatever your application name is. And then you can go ahead and customize every other part as well. So for the footer, we have at copyright Laravel. Now this isn't hard coded. It is, I believe, using the name inside your .env file. So if I go ahead and say uh, yellow code, it should use that. And again, you can go ahead and customize it as well by updating this uh, you know, template here, okay? And it doesn't seem to be hard coded here as well, which is nice. So we don't need to worry about it. Let's look at the email. Where is this implemented? All right, reserved. Let's see. Where is this actually? It is inside message. Okay, so now we know where this is actually added. All right, so it's inside HTML message, not footer. And as you can see, it's showing the year, right? Then it's showing the application name and then followed by all rights reserved, right? And again, you can go ahead and translate this if you got light. Uh, Hello there. Let's go ahead and replace that. So let's go ahead and send another email, guys, real quick. I do need to log in. I think I changed my account, right? Okay, so let's resend the email. And let's see if the changes I just made took effect. And now we should see yellow code for the application name, which we do. And then this one became at copyright 2023 yellow code hello there. So that's it guys, if you wanna change the email template, you can go ahead over, do it over here. Super easy to do, uh, it does take some time. Usually for me, uh, on my personal projects, I do use the exact same template. I just maybe change the background color and application logo. I think the default one is actually pretty nice. And that's it guys for today's video. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below as always. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe so you get notified of my latest videos. Have a great day, bye.